Good morning, everybody. What up? So, anyways, I hope everyone's having a great day. And I ho hope you could hear me over these crows. So, uh, yeah, um, me and my niece went to see, uh, Hamilton yesterday, and, um, we've been, like, long-time fans of that, like, Hamilton, and, uh, like, at first, when, when the play started, like, in the first, like, two seconds of the play, like, I started to cry, like, not, like, sobbing, but just, like, just because it's, like, one of the greatest things that was ever created, um, but I'll get to that later, like, artistically, so, um, and then, um, it's not the original cast anymore. You know, the original cast, they, you know, they, uh, they did one last concert in Puerto Rico to raise money, um, um, for the nation, for the art program, for hurricane relief, I guess. Um, and, you know, they'll probably do, like, a 15-year reunion, 20-year reunion when they're going to get back and do it again, perform it again on the railway, so most likely you'll see it if I have money or the world is still here <laughs> or if we're not all like hol holograms by then so they stole that line from me to times um um but yeah by by the fourth or the fifth song kind of felt like i had seen something that was no longer you know, I, I, like I was watching something that had already passed because these people that are performing it are just replacements. And the people watching it, they wish they would have seen the originals. And then as the play went on, Like theater magic, we used to call it theater magic in theater class. Like theater magic happened. But like you didn't care who was performing it. Like the only thing that really mattered was like the art of the play. And the play was like phenomenal. And I could say that because, well, I don't claim to, you know, know. Anything really, but I mean, um, I have, you know, I've lived in New York and I've seen a lot of Broadway plays and a lot of off Broadway plays, community theater plays, and all that stuff. And it's just really well done. The play's just really well done. Um, and uh, here the, sun, the sun's on the other side of me. I don't have to worry about putting on sunglasses. Um, so, um, there were a couple songs towards the end that you just start crying at. I mean, like, everybody in the audience is crying. And, um, like, after Philip dies, his son Philip, and, and, you know, there's the song called Quiet Up Town. Quiet Up Town starts. And, like, soon as it begins, like, I started crying, like, in the first second, like, the woman came out, and she, like, delivered the first line, and, like, I started crying. The girl next to me, which was, like, a diehard fan, she was, like, 16, she started crying, like, soon as, like, the girl delivered the first line on stage, we both started, like, crying. Probably cried for like, you know, five minutes straight. 
like snot coming out of my nose crying. And then, um, and then the next song, I didn't know this, but James Madison came out with Jefferson. And, and, um, I always thought this like kind of ruined the play whenever I listen to the full soundtrack, but Jefferson comes out and he's like, can we get back to politics now? <laughs> and, um, Madison, uh, coming out with Jefferson says like, you know, please. So when you listen to the soundtrack, it's just kind of like, can we get back to the, you know, politics now, please? You know, so you're like thinking like, why would they do that? It's just like a gorgeous song, like so beautiful. And then you ruin it like 10 seconds later. Well, anyways, when they're performing on Broadway and they're performing on stage, um, you know, uh, Jefferson says, can we come back to politics now? And Madison is like blowing his nose with like a handkerchief or a tissue. He's crying and he's like, please, you know, so it's just like, he's crying in the big audience. <laughs> like James Madison is crying with the audience. So, it was so funny. Um, and then, um, you know, of course, the, the, the final song, um, 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 you know, who lives, who dies, who tells your story. Um, I don't know. It's just so beautiful. Um, and like, I really cried at that one too. Like, I, like, like when the play ended completely and that's the last song and they, they shut off the lights, like, just like tears were coming down my face, snot was coming out my nose. Um, I don't think I've ever been affected by something so much, you know, as far as the play goes. That's why, I mean, Hamilton is, it's, um, you know, I, I, I say this to my mom quite a bit. I, I always tell her that Hamilton is, you know, probably the most influential or probably the most popular Broadway play ever made. She doesn't want to hear it, you know, she was like the Les Mis and the Cats and, you know, uh, Phantom of the Opera. But I've seen all those. Well, I didn't see Cats. But I've seen, you know, the other ones. I haven't seen Miss Saigon. But they didn't affect me at all. Um, you know, crime-wise, um, intensity-wise. But that was the very early beginnings of Broadway. And I'm sure there's a lot of other Broadway plays out there that are just amazing and beautiful and intense and emotional, but um, something about Hamilton that I, I, you know, triggered all these emotions and things and, and people. And um, I thought at one point, um, you know, halfway through the, the play or about three fourths through the play. I thought about how like some people would leave, leave the theater. And they would be like, oh wow, that was a really good play. I really liked it. And I thought to myself, like like for me and my niece, this is like cult following. This is like this is like this is like so much more than a play. It's like it's like it's like a uh, chickadee almost just flew up here. Uh, it's like it's, it's, it's like it's like so much more than a play. I think that's um, that's what any like, cult following is, you know. Really, you know, like when you know something is more than a movie to you or a TV show to you or a um, you know, play to you or something like that. Or even a band, you know, when it, um, oh, there's a duck, cool, uh, where it, like, influences you so much and it hits you so much that you just, like, uh, you're just impacted, it's just, um, it's just beautiful, it's, it's more than what everybody else thinks it is, because it's, it's something more to you. Quite a beautiful morning. 
I'm on the other coast today. It's up in Tampa. Let's see. I'm sure you can see like the, uh, the sunrise and the reflection on the, of the glass. I'm not gonna flip the camera over just to show you. It's kind of pointless. It's my videos only have one or three views, anyways. This beautiful morning though. Birds are dying down already. When I woke up this morning and I we went to bed pretty late last night. We went to bed at like around eleven. Uh, so I woke up at six six sixteen instead of um, three oh one. And um because I always get like seven or eight eight hours of sleep. And uh this morning I'm like, yeah, I've been sleeping for a while. I, you know, it's probably, you know, hopefully it's like six o'clock, seven o'clock. That means I'll, I'd have gotten like seven or eight hours of sleep. I looked up and I looked at the, um, the microwave oven thing, and it was like, um, it was like six sixteen, and I was like, yes, nice. So I get to see the sunrise, drink coffee, and get up like you know three hours earlier than everybody else outside and, and, and I opened up the, the screen door and it was just crazy birds. I mean, it was just like, <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, it was just like an insanity of birds. There's a palm tree right over there. And when we arrived last night after the play, uh, after Hamilton, we, um, there was like a crazy family of birds living in that tree. So I think that tree has some kind of uh, something in it that all the trees, all the birds flock to. Um, but anyways, I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, and I'm really sorry that I, I come from, well, I don't come from money, but my mom, she likes to uh, spend money um, on things like Hamilton and, and going to Colorado and things like that. And, and I'm really sorry that I have that and some people don't. Um, so I apologize for that. I don't, I don't need that to be happy. Sometimes these events cause a lot of stress in me. I don't really want to go in the beginning. Like like two days, one day leading up, I'll go through a lot of frustration. And, you know, and upset and, you know, stress and worry about eating, sleep and you know, how I'm gonna survive on these trips, like even going you know, on a three hour road trip for me, like it's a really big deal. Like I can't drink water and, you know, like I can't function the way I normally would. I don't, it's, and it's a really awful thing for me. So, you know, traveling and going places and things like that, I, I, sometimes I would, 